got some unfortunate news for Colorado Rockies fans. Um, your general manager, Jeff British, he has stepped down from his role. Um, he has been the general manager of the team since uh, October of 2014. Uh, he joined the organization back in 2004. Uh, and in 2006, he was he was uh, given the rank of senior director of uh, player development. Um, yeah, Mar, it's not looking good for the Colorado Rockies. They're the worst team in baseball right now. No surprise. I kind of expected that. You know, sorry for you Rockies fans out there, but your team kind of sucks. Um, that's just an understatement, by the way. And before I give it to you, Mario, uh, the source of this was Jesse Rogers, who is an ESPN staff writer. So I'll let you start off first, Mario. What do you think of Jeff British stepping down as general manager? I mean, you know, well, first of all, um, I believe there's not a reason, right? He just stepped down. Yeah, I'm look. I'm looking through it. It doesn't really have an exact reason. Well, first of all, you know, I wish Colorado Rockies the best of luck. Obviously, Greg uh, Fiesel is going to be taking over. Uh, a little bit about Greg Fiesel. You know, uh, he was the club's executive vice president, chief operating officer since 2010, and he is in his 26th season with the organization. He has been named the uh, president and chief operating officer, and he would now oversee baseball operations in addition to his current responsibilities. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I wish Greg uh, Fiesel the best of luck. Um, same thing about same same thing with Jeff uh, British. I wish him the best of luck too, and and whatever his future holds. Uh, but yeah, like you said, it's not looking good for the Rockies. Like you said, the worst record in baseball. Um, and usually when a team starts kind of tumbling down like this, usually the players leave and they hop and they jump off ship before it could actually sink. And you know that it looks like that's what's going to happen. You know they lost Nolan Arenado. Uh, they still got Trevor Story and uh, and Charlie Blackman left, which you don't know how long they're going to be there. You know, I, I Charlie Blackman and, Pro and Trevor Story probably want more than what they're getting right now, you know. And same thing for a lot of other good players in the Colorado Rockies. But, yeah, man, it's it's not looking good for them. Um, at least on the bright side, I believe that the All-Star game is going to be in Colorado. Am I correct? Correct. Yeah, so I mean that's that's a bright side for them as well. That's a bright side for them. But other than that, Nate, there really hasn't been a highlight for the Colorado Rockies this year. You know, now it's still early in the season. Who's to say they can't turn it around? You know, but again, right now it's not looking good for the Colorado Rockies. Uh, but with that being said, again, I wish uh, Jeff British the best of luck. I wish Greg uh, Fiesel the best of luck in taking over uh, the job as club president, and you kind know, of hopefully the Colorado Rockies can change their season around. Yeah, absolutely. You know, best of luck to Jeff British moving forward. But I got to be honest, he really screwed this team up. He really did. You know, they made the they made the postseason consecutive ties in 2017 and 18, and just haven't been able to get back to that ever since. You know, you had you had a generational player, Nolan Arenado, again, like you said. You know, Charlie Blackman and Trevor Story are on this team. Who we'll just say, you know, who we'll just say they're not going to be out by the time the trade deadline comes back in July. You know, I really think he screwed this team up. And 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 there was a lot of reports last year that Nolan Arenado was very, very unhappy with them. And that and the very first thing I said, this dude's out. This dude's out after this season. After this season of the or the, or the trade deadline, which ultimately ended up being the end of the season. I you know, obviously, um I actually have a quote from um British himself. He said and I quote, it became abruptly clear that ushering in a new leadership structure is critically important. With that in mind, we, uh, we arrived at this decision to part ways, and ultimately it will be the, it will be what is best for the Rockies and for me. Change can be a great thing for an organization and for the individuals who comprise it. Dick has a clear vision of the Rockies, and after nearly seven seasons as general manager, I believe it is time for someone else to help lead the, that vision. So he, had, so he never really gave a um, uh, real reason why he left. Probably, I would assume, because of the condition of the team right now. Like I said, he, he kind of did screw that team up. You know, he didn't build anything around the talent he had. He, he just didn't build a team that was worthy of going to the stadium and watching. He just didn't. And, you know, obviously, you know, someone's got to take the blame for that. And the general manager is usually the one that gets his players. So, unfortunately, you know, a lot of that, most of that, if not all of it, goes on him. And at the end of the day, you know, he did what he needed to do and he sat down. And, you know, with that being said, I wish him the best of luck. Um, who else is taking over again? Uh, Greg Fiesel, I wish him the best of luck. I wish the Colorado Rockies the best of luck. And, you know, I hope they can turn it around soon.